Okay, hi everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Brooke Branch, natural wellness educator for doTERRA Essential Oils, and I'm very excited to be here tonight with Dina, um, who is my Jersey girl pal that we met um, <laughs> in the Facebook vendor groups, which I think is how I met Sarah and now how I've probably met Catherine too. <laughs> it's great to meet all these people from all over the country and sometimes in Canada too that are um, network marketers and uh, entrepreneurs and that we all support each other. It's really great. So thank you so much for hosting. Um, and when I introduce myself, I'll have Dina introduce herself a little more in more detail. So um, let me share my screen. It's on the page, go to the welcome page. Okay. okay, can everyone see that? Yeah. Okay, great. So um, this is my information if anyone wants to um, take note of it. Otherwise I'm connected with you know, most of you on Facebook anyway. So um, you can find me that way. Um, this is a summary essentials workshop where we're just going to touch a little bit on the um, oils that are our summer themed roller bottles and sprays, things that are good for, um, well, I won't go into too much detail yet, but we got things for bugs. We got things for when you're too hot, things like that when you need um, some, when you have sweat under your boobs. So we pretty much have oils for everything. Um, so um, in the chat, if you could write your name and if you got a roll on which one it was, and if not, then feel free to still um, request one and you'll find uh, an announcement post in Dina's group. So you can figure out um, all the details are there of the different roller bottle options that you can pick out and let me know if you've never tried doTERRA, you're more than welcome to do that. And I can send you something just like I did with Catherine. So, um, and obviously Dina's tried my oils too, and she has an oil account and has been trying lots of oils as well. And Gail Lavender Joy, AKA Gail Kaplan is here. And she is my right-hand woman who's gonna be helping me man the chat. She knows the answers to pretty much everything. And um, she's gonna be talking in a little more detail about lemon essential oil later. So um, anyway, so if you could let us know also where you're joining us from and what your top health concerns are, top three, would be great. Or if any of your family members have some health concerns that you would like addressed, you could write it in the chat and then um, we can make sure that we cover it throughout the class. So, so um, here's the agenda. Um, we, um, I'll do my introduction, but like I talked about, you could do your introduction in the chat and then your health concerns. And uh, I will, my main, my main intention tonight is to empower you to use natural solutions with your family rather than always go going for the toxic solution, let's say, um, the Western medicine solution. Um, and also in your daily life, in your personal care products and things like that, there are, there's been over 80,000 chemicals introduced into the market in the last 50 to 100 years. And guess how many have been tested by any governing body who shall remain nameless? Less than 200 have been tested. And I don't know if you saw in the news, there was some kind of um, sunblock, sunscreen that was recalled. Um, I think it was Johnson & Johnson, of course it was. Anyway, Neutrogena. So um, that was recalled because there was some kind, of, um, some kind of chemical in it that now has been shown to cause cancer. They didn't test it ahead of time, but if someone gets sick or dies, then they recall it. So, you know, these issues, um, these, chemicals can cause a lot of different health issues as we see like autoimmune issues, which almost everyone has these days. Um, and it can cause the C word, it can cause um, hormonal imbalances, all different kinds of issues that you might not even be familiar with. So that's why our goal is not just saying, oh, use lavender for sleep, but use chemicals for everything else. No, we're teaching you about your personal care products, about your cleaning products, about your just a more natural lifestyle. So that is what our intention is to get you empowered to um, feel confident to use these oils and other natural products with your family. So um, then we're gonna go over, um, Gail, could you check, is that the chat or the blinking? Yeah, I guess it's the chat. Um, so we're gonna go over three cool things about essential oils, then three ways to use essential oils, and then the benefits of supplementation for, um, you know, because we have a lot of supplements too, not just, um, not just 
um, oils and we also have spa products. We have everything, but um, sup our supplements are amazing. So we're going to touch on that. And then I'm going to tell you how to, how you can get oils in your home if you would like them. And then what the next steps are like house cleaning, um, housekeeping, cleaning, if anyone wants to come clean, that's fine too. Um, and then, and then uh, the raffle. So we're going to raffle off um, a prize at the end. So um, does anyone have any questions so far? on anything we're going to be covering. Okay. Um, Dina, would you mind writing to Jackie to see if she's coming back on? I know um, sure. she had a lot going on, but. Oh, well, sure. Okay, thanks. So, um, so this is me um, as far as who I am. I am a, an oil lover, natural lifestyle enthusiast. Um, I love my oils. Don't know how I ever oh. looked about them. And um, I'm a doTERRA leader. So this is our team on the left. You can see Lavender, uh, Lavender Joy all, all the way on the left. And we have some other people that aren't pictured there, but we have a lot of fun. Um, they're actually standing pretty much right where I am right now at my father-in-law's beach house. So that was a retreat we had. And then on the right, you see my family, my husband and my twin boys who are 14. And, um, oh, here's Natalie. Um, who are, um, and that was us at the beach as well, and they're entering high school this coming um, September, which is kind of scary because they are my babies. So anyway, um, let's see. Oh, okay. So now it is time for Dina to introduce herself and tell us a little about what she does. Okay. And you know, I'm very camera shy. We all know that, <laughs> but, uh, but I am. Um, I actually, I have a love of gemstones and creating and art, and I kind of tie it all in together. Um, I've always been an artist. I've always had my interest in everything. I read cards. I'm a Reiki practitioner. I'm a healer. Um, and I kind of feel when I create something using my crystals and my gemstones, and I infuse the pieces with Reiki, and then if it has a bead on it that we could add the essential oils to it, it kind of just puts that whole package together of our tools and our healing. So I, I'm, I'm very proud of my little diffuser bracelets. Um, I do have some with me. I don't know how well you could see on here, but you can always check out my site, my Etsy shop. But I do use several different beads. Some are the lava stones, some are the rainbow plated lava, some are the uh, tiger, ebony wood, rosewood, whatever's good for absorbing the oils. But I, I, I just feel that if we can have these tools accessible to us, we should use them. And if they're all combined together, even better. For sure. Thank you, Dina. And feel free to put your um, Etsy link in the chat for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so let me go back to share. Okay, um, so um, yeah, so we just, Dina and I just thought it was the perfect marriage basically of you know the crystals and the lava beads that are, um, that you can put the essential oils on that the lava beads kind of absorb the oils. So then you can get the, the healing properties of and the calming properties of the crystals and of the oils on the lava beads. So yeah, it's a great combination. So this is our set of summer essentials, rollers and sprays that I mentioned. And, um, and by the way, welcome Natalie to the party. <laughs> and, um, oops. And you could um, just introduce yourself in the chat if you would like, um, what your top three health concerns are, where, you're, where you are um, right now, like where you're joining us from. And um, like I said, welcome. So this is the, there's two different sprays and there are three different rollers that are available as samples that we are happy to send you. Um, Sun Lover, Bug Off. So what, like Sun Lover is great for soothing your skin. I believe it has lavender and um, peppermint in it and some aloe. Bug Off is great, it has a lot of oils. Obviously there are um, bug repellents. Boob Sweat has some hormone balancing oils um, and that's great for obviously helping with that sweaty area that some of us have in the summer. Um, that's fun, isn't it? And then Bugs Bite, that is for soothing the bug bites after you get them. And then Hot Stuff is for cooling you off in the, um, you know, in these summer months. And I believe that has peppermint in it among other things. And that is great for cooling, which we're going to talk about. 
So again, if you haven't gotten these, feel free to, um, you know, if you haven't gotten one of these to try and you're new to doTERRA, feel free to go to the announcement post in Dina's uh, group and all the recipes are there for all of these rollers. And you can just send me a private message and let me know what your address is and what your choice is. And I'd be happy to send that out to you. And that is what um, Catherine did already. So um, this is, um, the first thing I'm going to talk about are the, the, out of the three cool things about essential oils, the first thing is that they are safe. So they, there aren't any side effects. There aren't any, um, you don't build up a resistance to them and they're extracted from plants. So they're totally natural, especially doTERRA's, you know, you really don't know what you're getting with other oils, um, which I'll talk about in a second. Ours are called CPTG, certified pure um, therapeutic grade or tested grade. They are the most pure and potent on the planet. And with the oil industry, you really don't know what you're getting because um, the FDA does not regulate the oil industry. It's viewed as a cosmetic product, which is really um, disturbing to me. <laughs> it was disturbing to me when I found out about this um, when I first started with doTERRA, the fact that there could literally be, it could say anything on the bottle and be anything inside. It could be, you know, they say duck bills, it could be Febreze, you don't know what it is inside and it could say 100% pure therapeutic grade organic and you don't know. So the only way to know is um, price, is it like five oils for $10 on Amazon? Um, don't get your oils, <laughs> we always say friends don't let their friends buy their essential oils at TJ Maxx. So just be careful with that. Um, and because you never know what you're getting. And then um, the, what else am I going to say about that? I think that's the main thing. Just be really careful. Oh, the other thing to look at is uh, when you're looking for oils is can they be taken internally, like peppermint or lavender, for instance. Ours can be taken internally, which we're going to talk about in a little while. Most cannot because they um, the quality is just not there. Even the ones at Whole Foods, you can't take internally. So it's interesting. So check the labels and you'll see. And so even though it says organic or whatever, um, don't believe everything you read because 89% of oils are adulterated, mixed with something in some way because the demand is so high. So it's definitely, um, you know, either low grade oils or mixed with other pesticides and fillers and things like that. So um, we are known for our, you know, our uh, high quality oils and so much so that you can even type in the lot number on the bottom of any of our bottles. I don't think you can see that. But anyway, there's a lot number believe it or not. It's hard to see there. Anyway, and that um, you can type into our site and it shows all the 57 different tests that have been done, all the results and things like that. And we are the most transparent company about that. The other, our other main competitor does not show that at all. They don't give any test results. They don't even have what the ingredients are on their oil blends on their bottles. So I love the transparency and what doTERRA stands for. And they were started because of the quality issue they couldn't find other oils out there on the market that met their high standards. So they created them. We even have a cancer um, ward with our name on it, Vanderbilt University. Um, I think that's in Tennessee. I thought it was in Kentucky, but someone told me recently it's in Tennessee. But anyway, there's an entire cancer wing um, called doTERRA um, Cancer Institute or something like that at this hospital because these physicians and researchers are using our oils. No other company meets these standards, using our oils to research to see how they um, can fight cancer and other diseases. So pretty amazing, if you ask me. So peppermint is the first one I'm going to talk about, which is um, one of my favorites. And so if you were here with me, I would take this bottle and put a drop in your hands and then rub it together and do what we call the human diffuser. So you just cup your hands over your nose and mouth and careful to avoid your eyes. And you just take a deep breath or two or three or four or five, however many you need, especially with our calming oils, that's really nice. This energizes you, it promotes clear breathing, it cools off your body when you put it on topically. Um, it relieves head tension, so you can put it on your head and your head's hurting. Um, so there's a lot of different ways. You can even freshen your breath by putting some on your thumb and then putting it on the roof of your mouth. So uh, I've just used all three ways that I'm going to be talking about internally, um, topically and aromatically. So I'm gonna be talking about those three ways soon. Um, also, I wanted to mention that um, peppermint next to it, it says A-T-I, 
And that means aromatically, topically, and internally. So those are the three ways that peppermint can be used. And if it doesn't say those three, you'll see which ones it can be, how it can be used. And it's not because of a quality issue that, it, that something maybe couldn't be taken internally. It's only an issue of the chemical constituents in that oil. So next, um, second cool thing about essential oils is that they're effective. So um, they are, they, go into the cell, they're like a lock and key. So our bodies are made up of hundreds of natural chemicals and these oils are made up of the same natural chemicals. So it's pretty amazing that it's literally like a lock and key. It goes into our system and affects change on a cellular level. It actually goes into the cell, as you can see, because our cells have an oily membrane on the outside of them. And um, the, um, the oils are obviously oily, so they can penetrate that cell to get to what's inside, which is in this case, the brown thing that's there is a virus. And the virus, um, what can't help viruses? What does the doctor say? When you go to the doctor and you have a virus, they say, go home. Sorry, we can't help you. We don't have any medicine for you. So except to treat the symptoms, of course. So, um, so the oils like, oh, because the antibiotics are water-based, so they can't go inside the cell. They can affect change on the outside of the cell, which is the purple thing that's there, which is the bacteria. Um, but it's at a cost because the, um, the um, antibiotics stay in your system for nine years, research has shown, and um, it basically messes with your gut flora and your gut is We've seen, I think, 90% of your serotonin for, um, you know, to your happy um, neurotransmitter in your brain, develop, it starts in the gut. It originates in the gut. So, and so many other things start in the gut as well. So it's very important to have good gut health. And I know for me, I would only have antibiotics if it was really, really, really uh, dire, basically. Um, otherwise, 80% of the time, from what doTERRA says and what I've seen, or more actually, because my family really hasn't had any, um, is that these oils can be used instead. There are very, there are a lot of antibacterial, antiviral oils, and On Guard is is our main immune boosting oil that has those properties in it. So uh, On Guard is great for. You can put it um, all different ways. You can take a shot of it. You can put it on the bottoms of your feet. You can make a roller bottle out of it with some coconut oil. And so it, so it can soothe your irritated throat. Like if I feel like I'm coming down with something, I'll take a shot of on guard or I'll drink some. Um, and you can cleanse your home with it. So you can, we have all different on guard products. We have cleaner concentrate. We have laundry detergent. We have uh, hand sanitizer you can put in your purse. So I haven't used Purell since this whole thing began unless they make me at like a doctor's office or something. Um, I just use the on guard hand sanitizer which kills 99.9% .9 of germs. So uh, it's on guard. I don't know what I would have done without this. There must be at least seven or eight times where I felt like I was coming down with something, my throat, my ear, and I started using all the oils like I talked about and it just went away, but you have to be consistent. You can't just do it once and think it's the magic pill and everything's gonna be fine. You have to be consistent just like you are with finishing all your antibiotics if you have to do that. So um, does anyone have any questions about anything I've talked about so far? No? Okay. Um, okay, so then next we will go to, um, the third cool thing about essential oils is that they're affordable. So you know, so I don't know about you, but I haven't had the best experiences with the healthcare industry. You know, I go to like get a mole removed and it's like, I get a bill for 300 and some dollars. So um, where we can do something is to prevent going to the doctor when we can and take care of things at home with these natural solutions because the essential oils are literally pennies a dose. Like I was saying, they're very pure and potent. So when you use one drop, it's costing like, you know, eight cents or something like that. Like, you know, in the past, when my kids would get sick, let's say they woke up in the middle of the night and they said, oh, my ear's hurting. And I would say, I would try to get them to take medicine that they probably wouldn't take. Then they'd be up all night. We'd both be up all night, obviously. Then I'd have to take them to the doctor and um, take off work, take them to the doctor, get an expensive prescription, which could be hundreds of dollars. 
and who knows what it's doing to their system. So the other option, which has happened, is them waking up and saying their ear hurts. And what do I do? I put lavender and basil around their ear and then they fall right back to sleep. And in the morning, most times they're like, what? nothing's wrong with my ear, I'm fine. So that saved a lot of time, a lot of money, and it probably cost a total of 15 cents. So it really does save in the long run. These like are, you know, my magic mommy toolkit as my kids call it. I really use them for everything. So lavender is, um, needs no introduction, but a lot of people don't know that lavender isn't just good for calming um, your, um, you know, for, for calming yourself, your emotions, but also for your skin. So any rashes, cuts, burns, bee stings, it's very anti-inflammatory. So I always use that. Oh, look at the baby. <laughs> There's baby. So, um, so lavender, could, it, we call it the Swiss army knife of oils. It really is used for so many things. And it, obviously it's great and gentle for babies too. And, um, you can use it on the baby's jaw with a little coconut oil, which, um, lavender joy, do you have a bottle of that, that you can show when it comes time? Because I don't have any of my stuff with me here at the shore. So you don't have the fraction of your coconut oil. Oh, okay. So. I'll just tell you about it. But anyway, so you dilute with this fractionated coconut oil, as I'm going to talk about, and then um, then you it helps with sensitive skin or with um, for kids. So let me just go to the next slide. So and welcome, Nicole. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hi, sorry, I'm so late. <laughs> That's okay, better late than never. That's what I always say. <laughs> Absolutely, I figured I'd give it a whirl. I wanted to find out a little bit more about this. So I'm listening away, sorry to Good, good. And then I can always tag you on the recording and then you can check it out from the beginning, you know, whatever you missed. So. Awesome, thanks okay. so much. All right, no, pro no problem. So um, the, the we were just starting to talk about the three ways to use essential oils. So, um, the first way is aromatically. So a lot of you, how many of you have a diffuser? Yes, always see hands. Sarah says yes, uh, obviously Dina does. Um, and I think uh, Catherine said she has one too. So they, um, with the diffuser, you basically put the, um, put water in it. It's very easy. You put a couple drops of oil, as I always say, to taste. So you basically put as much as you want or as little as you want, depending on the size of your room and the strength of your um, diffuser. And there's different settings, like two hours, four hours, 10 hours. So if you're using it overnight, you can use the 10 hour that's sometimes intermittent um, where a fine mist comes out. And um, that there are many reasons for using oils aromatically. And by the way, you can also do the, um, what I showed in the beginning with the peppermint of the, um, the uh, human diffuser of using it in your hands and breathing it in. So that's the other way that you can use the oils aromatically. So if you put it in your diffuser, one reason would be that you could um, use some citrus oils because citrus oils are very good for uplifting mood. And if you think about where they're grown, they're grown in trees. So they're um, great for uplifting mood. If you're using, let's say um, a tree oil, a, you know, something with bark, something that is has roots in it, things like that, like lavender, or we have our balance blend that has a lot of deep rooted trees in, um, in it, then that means that it's calming and grounding. So it, based on where it grows, you can tell what it helps with, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So wild orange, uh, grapefruit, bergamot, lemon, I mean, all of these citrus oils are really great for uplifting them. Um, so you can put that in your diffuser. I like it with peppermint, um, wild orange and peppermint is a great combo. You wouldn't think so, but really great in your diffuser for an afternoon pick-me-up instead of some coffee or maybe in addition to. Um, and then cleansing the air. So with the on guard that I talked about before for immune boosting, if someone's sick in your home or comes in your home and you're not sure if they were sick or something like that, if you diffuse the on guard and other antibacterial antiviral oils, then it coats the air, everyone's breathing it in and it is like a protective coating for everyone. So if one person's sick, then not everyone will get sick. I can't tell you how many times one of my twins has got sick and the other one hasn't because I've been proactive about um, putting uh, the oils on the non-sick twin as well, and then he doesn't get it. So um, that, that and diffusing, obviously. And then breathe is another one that's gr a great blend for 
um, the respiratory system. So I put it in my shower, I sprinkle it around and it really helps to open up my sinuses and makes me feel like I'm in a spa. And I really love that in the diffuser too, because I have some respiratory issues at night. So I put that in my diffuser when I sleep and um, it has eucalyptus and peppermint and something called Ravensara that helps with the, the lungs. So um, really good for the respiratory system. Does anyone have any questions before I talk about topical use? Okay, so that's it. All right, so topically, um, we use topical um, oils topically typically when we want to affect one certain area. So if your if your stomach's hurting or if your kid's stomach's hurting, you can put our digest zen blend, which is pictured here. Um, it has a lot of different oils in it that your grandmother may have used on you, like anise and ginger and peppermint and things like that. So you can put that on your belly. And uh, my son had heartburn the other night. I put it on his. Uh, oh, actually, I had him take a little sip of it in water and I put a little on his um, neck and he went right back to sleep. So again, it's really good for getting kids to go back to sleep, these oils. Uh, so um, also if I get um, nauseous or something like that, I can put it in my hands and breathe it in. Sometimes that helps. Um, so, but as far as topical, I would just put it on my belly or my kids with um, a little of the coconut oil, which is pictured here. And that is what we use. It's it's liquefied coconut oil, basically. So all the fatty lipids have been taken out and it's great for making those roller bottles that I showed earlier um, and great for diluting for sensitive skin and just to keep it for longer in one area. So uh, when something is hurting too, like deep blue is, our, is a great blend for that. So you can add that to a little coconut oil and put that where it's hurting, like your shoulder or your knee or something like that. So, and it makes it go a little further as well. Um, so topically without the coconut oil um, would be on the, um, if it's an oil that's not a hot oil, like it doesn't have peppermint or oregano or clove, things like that. And it'll say it on the bottle. Um, but the, um, there are oils, really any oil can be put on the bottoms of your feet because it corresponds to the reflexology points. So the head corresponds to the big toe. So if you have um, like, nervous system issues, or if you have a cold or something like that, you wanna put the oils um, on the bottoms of your toes, on, underneath your big toes, because that corresponds to your head. Um, it affects change in your whole body within two minutes. So that's more of a systemic effect rather than topically to one area with the coconut oil. So, um, you know, just letting you know the different options for topical. Does anyone have any questions about that? Feel free to just unmute yourself and ask, although most people don't. <laughs> like, I hope people are understanding what I'm saying. It's so hard with Zoom. It's made things a lot easier, but also tougher to, to read what everyone is thinking. So I'll just continue. And hopefully you're writing things in the chat as well. Okay, so internally, the um, oils can be used. And a lot of people say, oh, I didn't know they could be taken internally. Well, I would not use any other brand, honestly, besides doTERRA internally. Um, you can use them in your water, like I talked about. So um, I like it to get a metal water bottle. It's better than using glass or plastic. I'm sorry, you can use glass, that's fine. Although that could break more easily. But the plastic you don't wanna use because it pulls toxins out of the plastic and into your body. So you wanna make sure to always use something non-porous when you're putting citrus oils, especially in your water. Um, but, um, or you can use a veggie cap, which if you don't know what that is, it's a an empty gelatin capsule. And like, just like you would take normally with medicine in it or something, you open it up and it's empty and you just put a couple drops of the essential oil in that you want. Let's say it's three or four or five immune boosting oils, like a natural antibiotic, basically. You close it up and then you can take it internally without tasting it. So if you don't like the taste of whatever the oil is, you don't have to put it in your water and drink it. You can, uh, you don't have to be so hardcore. You can just put it into a capsule and take it that way. Um, frankincense is an example of one that you can put right under your tongue and that helps with nervous system support. In fact, I would, Dina, I would definitely recommend that for you. Um, and it helps cells perform optimally. So you can like read between the lines with that. We're not allowed to make medical claims. Um, and then it also is calming. It helps with skin. Uh, I don't know if you saw the before and after picture of my father-in-law's head, but um, he 
I had him put it, applying it for like two months and it pretty much took away his age spots. So it's great to put in your moisturizer, to put on your skin. You can put it straight on your skin even because it's so um, gentle and it's very calming and grounding because it comes from a tree. Like we talked about, that's um, a sign of an oil that's grounding and calming. So um, Lavender Joy, would you like to talk a little more about lemon as you know, she's gonna spotlight lemon and all the ways that she uses it. It's one of my favorites. Thanks, Brooke. Yeah, so um, lemon essential oil is an antidepressant, an antiseptic, antifungal, antioxidant, antiviral, and can be used as an astringent. So it's extremely versatile. My favorite way to uh, use lemon internally is to put in my water in the morning. I like actually warm water with some lemon. And sometimes I put some honey and I use that for detoxing. Um, it's a great uh, a physical detox. Um, I also use lemon in with my laundry detergent um, to boost the laundry, to boost the um, deodorizing effect of the laundry. I have a friend whose son works in a fast food restaurant and she couldn't get the smell out. She was using all those toxic chemicals, those little um, beadlets that you put into the washing machine. And 10 drops of lemon essential oil in your washing machine with the laundry will get rid of the stinky um, fast food smell and, and other smells from the gym and all kinds of great things. Um, I also put lemon in my shampoo to boost the cleansing effect. And that's especially excellent for oily hair. Um, and the best all-purpose cleaner is lemon essential oil, white vinegar, and distilled water. And that just does an amazing job on um, uh, cleaning pretty much anything in the household. I also make a lemon uh, dusting spray. It can be used you know, to dust and to per polish the furniture. And lemon and peppermint together are excellent for concentration and focus. I have a lot of clients who are authors and I always recommend the combination of lemon and peppermint to get those creative juices flowing. Also, lemon essential oil is really excellent for taking the sticky residue off when there's, you remove a label and there's that stickiness left. You just use a drop of lemon essential oil with a paper towel or a cloth and it takes all that residue off and gives you a, a smooth, nice smooth surface. Also, the best stain remover around is lemon and white vinegar. I had gotten um, permanent hair color on my shirt. It, it bled because I used the reds and purples and they tend to bleed. And it bled into my t-shirt and I thought, well, it's ruined, so let me try this. And uh, it's um, uh, lemon, um, lemon juice and white vinegar and lemon essential oil. And it took it completely out, completely removed the um, permanent hair color. And one more thing that's important for everybody to know about lemon as well as other citrus oils is that they can be photosensitive. And what that means is that you don't want to put them on topically within 12 hours of being out in the sunshine or you can get a, a, a reaction. Um, so that doesn't mean that you can't use citrus oils. What it means is you would use it in the evening and then you have the rest of the evening and all the time while you sleep, by the time you go out in the sunshine, that, that 12 hours has gone by and you're all set. So that is um, what I have about lemon essential oil. Thank you, Lavender Joy. <laughs> um, and we, um, we grew one one uh, participant, Colleen. Colleen, um, is it Colleen Fuda or a different Colleen? Just wanted to know who it was. Maybe you could type it in the chat. Um, anyway, welcome. So um, the let's see. Let me go to the next slide and make you guys a little smaller so I can see. Okay. So um, I wanted to talk about um, one of our business partners and uh, my best friend um, in the world is Dr. Amy Moore. And she um, recommends all the time oils for her patients for calming, 
for stress and anxiety and things like that. So um, these are her main, obviously it varies, but these are her mainstays as far as what she recommends. So she recommends calming and grounding oils like balance is one of them. And um, elevation, balance is the one that I said has a lot of deep rooted trees in it. And then elevation is an uplifting uh, citrus blend. Bergamot is a great citrus one, wild orange. Like I said, any of the citrus ones are great for uplifting mood. So it depends, everyone's body chemistry is different. So um, we always say, just try different ones and see which one you really resonate with it, that really uplifts you the most. So the other one is our um, vitamin three pack, which is one of our best sellers. I'm gonna talk about that on the next page. And then um, Copaiba is actually a CBD um, it's like a CBD oil, but it comes from a tree in the Amazon. And so it doesn't have all those legal implications with it. And it helps with everything you would think of for CBD, like um, nervous system support, um, calming, immune support, pretty much everything you can think of, uh, inflammation, things like that. So I take those every day. I have some digestive issues. So uh, I figure the more I can, you know, take some anti inflammatory oils and supplements, the better. And the um, adaptive is um, one of my favorites as well, which is great for stress and anxiety. It was created for that. There's a capsule, there's a roller, and there's a regular oil that can all be used for calming and stress. And Dina was going to talk about her experience with that oil. So take it away, Dina. Uh, you unmuting yourself? Okay, good. Yep, I am. Um... I've actually been using it for working in the office. Uh, that in itself is very stressful um, with the times we're in, leaving home. And I actually made a mental note today before I went in the office to, to take it with me. And I was so glad I did. It just made me so much more calmer knowing I had it. I have the little roller of the adaptive. And it's just, I, I can't say enough about it. You know, it's just great. It really helps. And I, I think that's part of it. You have to really try it. When you see that it works, you'll want to continue right. with it. Good. Thank you. Yeah, it really does work. I carry it everywhere too. I have it in my purse. And whenever I'm feeling stress coming on, or sometimes I do it proactively if I know something's going to happen, um, then I just put it on. And also those, I take the supplements every day, which are meant to work in tandem with the oil. So they're different formulations, but they're all adaptive. Um, you know, branded adaptive. So um, let me go back to uh, sharing my screen. Okay. And then the final thing is a lot of people have sleep issues. And um, so the Serenity is actually a supplement that works for a lot of people. I'm not saying it works for everyone, but again, try it and see for yourself. And it has just lavender and a really calming amino acid in it. So it's very, you know, it's natural. And um, my parents swear by it. I don't have sleep issues. I have problems waking up. <laughs> That's what I use peppermint for. Um, breathe it in and wake up. But uh, serenity is really great for sleep issues. So uh, let's go to the next slide. Okay, so the Lifelong Vitality Pack, which was shown on the previous page, is great for pretty much everything under the sun. It helps with all 12 systems of the body. And if you have pain and inflammation, if you have, if you're tired all the time, this can really help. Um, the first time I took these supplements, and I'll tell you about them in more detail in a second. First time I took them, I had like what we call Swiss cheese brain. So my brain just did not work after being having such sleep deprivation from my kids not sleeping through the night for the first two years of their life. So I thought I would never get my brain back. And so um, I ended up I, when I, the first time I took them, I was literally um, standing up folding sheets at like 1130 at night. And my husband was on the couch, like with the remote and the half asleep, you know, what's gotten into you. And I was like, I don't know, I think it's the supplements. Granted, it usually takes people longer to feel it, but there is a money back guarantee. So if you're not feeling anything different in a month, you can literally just call them and they will send you a full refund. You don't even have to send the empty bottles back. So um, really, really great. It has um, in, included is food nutrient complex. So that goes into your system as whole foods. So your body knows exactly what to do with them. And then an omega fatty acid blend, which is very important uh, for everyone to have for brain health and 
pretty much every system in the body. And also there's a cellular vitality complex that helps with your brain. And we can all use help in that area to, for clarity of thought, memory, and things like that. So all together, and they all have essential oils in them as well that work well with all the other vitamins and minerals and everything else in there. So I can't speak highly enough about those. I give them to my kids every day as well, and it helps them with school and um, concentration and things like that. So next on the list. Okay. So um, does anyone have any questions before we get into this um, next area? Well, Brooke, I yes. realized that um, Natalie had mentioned that she suffers from migraines, and uh, I was wondering if you could mention some things she can use for that. Sure, thank you for bringing that up. So um, for migraines, there are, you know, peppermint is a great one, and we also have a blend, if that's not strong enough for you, the past tense blend, it's called, um, is really great. It has wintergreen, it has um, even cilantro, it has uh, and it has peppermint in it. It's just much stronger than just using peppermint alone. And, um, and you can put it on the back of your neck, on the brain stem, and then on your, you know, on your temples, wherever you're feeling it. I like to also put it back into my uh, scalp for um, extra relief and also breathing it in helps too. So I have a little, um, one of those little like Vicks inhalers, um, but just comes empty. It looks like a big inhaler, but it comes empty on Amazon and you can put um, oils on the wick and put it inside and you can bring that with you anywhere. So a lot of times when I have a sinus headache, I use that with peppermint and eucalyptus or the past tense blend. And it really helps to, you know, to, uh, you know, relieve that pain and pressure of my sinuses as well. Um, I've also at times used um, frankincense and lavender because those are all, both very anti-inflammatory. So those are great too to apply topically for a headache or migraine. Does that answer your question? And if not, feel free to type another one in the chat. Um, is everything good in the chat? I see a lot of action, but I didn't wanna go over, but I figured you got it covered. Um, okay, so uh, next on the list is um, to just talk about Oh, Nicole, yes. Yeah, uh, so my quick question was, was I came in late and I apologize if you covered it already. Oh, but, no problem. Okay, I I've, well, have wanted to get um, a sense like this and, and a diffuser for my house, you know, for calming and, you know, whatnot to create the environment. Um, but I had read that, um, and, and I don't, in general, this is just a general statement, that it can be um, not good, I have a cat. And, it, and that certain um, sense, you know, and whatnot, uh, it's not good for the animals as well. Right, so right. Are, um, with your company, with these, mm -hmm. you know, are they, since they appear to be so very safe for humans, are they also, okay, safe to diffuse and like what I diffuse more or, you know, like, you know, how, does it work for animals if right. living at home? Okay, do you want to take that, Gail? Because I know you're the expert in pets and she actually did a webinar for our team um, last month about pets and essential oils. So I might as well um, revert to the expert, even though I could answer it, she could answer it that much better. Okay, sure, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. I have a cat myself and basically where animals are concerned, cats and dogs, um, you as long as the room is an open room and it's not all closed up and they can come and go as they please animals know what oils are um good for them and and what oils are not good for them so they'll just leave and um um oh, i lost my train of thought topical um, what you what you said you said do you use more no you would not use less so you would start off with, let's say, only four drops in your diffuser and make sure that there's no adverse reactions, which would be like coughing or sneezing or um, acting lethargic. But like I said, my cat, there's only, a, when I use Melaleuca or um, tea tree, um, she leaves the room. But other than that, she comes next to me when I have the diffuser on my table next to me, she comes over. And I also um, dog sit a lot. and and um, use the oils topically as well with cats and dogs, some of them, not all of them. So I'd be glad to talk with you further if you would like for have a proper conversation. Well, Gail, thank you very much. It's good, to, good news because I would love to do 
you know, have peppermint or something like that in my home, you know, something that uh, eucalyptus and peppermint, like I find those to be relaxing. I like them. I like the lavender. There's mm -hmm. different ones. And, um, you know, so uh, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you very much for sharing. Okay. It makes it positive opportunity for me to think about getting involved with purchasing at some point. So thank right, you. Right. Yeah. All right. Yes. Thank you. Lavender Joy. Um, yeah. It's, it's more, you, you might need, to, you need to know a little bit more in terms of if you wanted to apply them topically to your cat or dog, but to diffuse, uh, like Gail said, just having open doors and they know what they like and don't like their sense of smell is very strong. So um, so it's all good. Tea tree is like the one that I would stay away from with diffusing with um, cats. But um, other than that, you're good to go. So, um, okay. So we, um, there's, there are three different types of people that we um, work with in doTERRA. And so I'm going to explain what each one is so that you can let us know where you fall and we can better support you depending on where you are. So the first one is someone that wants to live the wellness lifestyle. They want to have oils in their home. They want to learn what they can about using them with their family. And um, those are our, you know, our VIP customers that we love so much that we um, really love supporting. And then number two would be someone who shares, who, who loves the oils so much that they want to share them with, um, with everyone they know, or at least with their loved ones. And they want it. And then in that case, you can get paid in free oils like Dina is doing tonight um, or in commissions. And so we can talk about those options as well. And so it's just an easy way to, you know, like, don't keep this a secret. If you are finding that it works for you, you know, why would you keep it a secret? So we want to make sure that as many people know about this as possible, and we will reward you for it, for, you know, referring people to us, for hosting a class, um, like Dina's doing or for um, just talking about them and uh, I guess, you know, getting people interested. So number three is someone who like Gail and I, who want to build a residual income, which doTERRA is really great for. And we teach you everything you need to know. It's an amazing, fun team of all of my really close friends. And so I wouldn't have it any other way. And so in building this, because everyone has, um, or most people have a wholesale customer account and they're ordering um, when they need to uh, replace whatever they, or, or try new things um, in this wellness lifestyle realm um, and doTERRA has so many options, then that results in a residual income where people are ordering over and over and it's a very high retention rate. So that becomes a, literally a retirement income. So if I went to bed you know, at the beginning of August and woke up at the end of August, I would still make the same amount. Um, so it's really nice. And then I just build upon that month after month. So um, again, we can give you details on that if you're interested. So um, the, so there are three ways as well to purchase your oils. So one is retail and that is the most expensive. So we don't recommend that. That would be if you um, want to pay 25% more than everyone else. And, but that would be more if you're going into a, a yoga studio or chiropractor's office or something like that. Um, the second way, which is much more um, cost-effective is wholesale. So that would be with the wholesale customer account like I was just talking about. So it's like a Costco card for oils. You pay a $35 membership fee um, for the year and then you get everything for 25% off. You get me guiding you every step of the way with what to do with the oils. We get on a Zoom call after you get your oils. And um, I give you one-on-one -on -one attention where we talk about how you're going to use the oils. I answer all your questions. I show you how to log into your account and how that whole thing works. I send you a, a goodie bag basically of all these different samples and products and empty roller bottles and things like that. Um, and, uh, and that would be the $35 membership fee um, plus choosing, let's say whatever oils you want. Like that would be more like the a la carte option. But the most cost-effective way and the way that Gail and I did it was to, um, with a package of oils. And that makes the most sense in terms of if you don't have, especially if you don't have a lot of doTERRA oils on hand already, to start with the package is much more cost-effective because the $35 fee is waived. So you don't pay that and you get a cross-section of the most popular oils that we've hand-picked 
plus usually a diffuser comes with it as well. So it's a great way to get started and you have an oil for digestion, an oil for calming, an oil for immune support, an oil for detoxing. So you have oils for everything basically right at the start. So I'm gonna show you a couple pictures of the most um, popular packages right after this. Does anyone have questions about this part so far? No, okay. So two of our most popular packages are the Healthy Start and the Home Essentials package. So um, the Healthy Start is um, has smaller bottles. So I'll show you the difference between what the, the smaller and the larger bottles look like. So the, they are five milliliter bottles. So the difference is like that. So the larger bottles are the ones in the Home Essentials package. Those are three times as big um, in size. So they're 15 milliliters. And so uh, the Healthy Start package, you know, the Home Essentials ends up being a lot more um, bang for your buck, basically a lot more um, cost effective because it's less than double the price and you're getting three times the amount of oil and a much bigger diffuser. It doesn't look like it in this picture, but it is bigger. So it covers a wider area. Um, so there's also a difference in the oils themselves that are included in these packages. So I would say the Healthy Start package would be more for physical type issues because it comes with a lot of our immune boosting oils and skin oils like frankincense and tea tree um, and oregano. Um, then, and plus they all come with breathe oil for respiratory, lemon for detoxing and cleaning. Um, what else? Lavender for calming, uh, peppermint, which we talked about, deep blue for pain, digest then for, for, uh, um, for digestive issues. So both of them come with those. And then the home essentials though, also comes with adaptive, which is the stress and anxiety one that, um, that Dina was talking about. And uh, Copaiba, which is the one that's like CBD oil, and then um, Breathe Oil is our respiratory um, plan. Like you, like like I said, that's in both of them. What else comes with this one? Balance. That's the one that also comes in the Home Essentials that doesn't come in the other. That's very calming and grounding. It has a lot of deep rooted trees in it. So um, also, um, I'll show you. There's a special that I'll show you actually in next page. Um, for this month too. So these next two, one is the Aroma Essentials Package. So that's if you want to, your main objective is to replace the chemical laden air fresheners and things like that in your home, you can get this diffuser and then all these different oils that are really, really smell amazing. Um, you have Serenity, our Serenity blend, which is lavender and vanilla. Cheer is like a spicy um, citrus. It comes with adaptive, so some of the, and balance, so some of the calming oils too. So that's, and that ends up being, you know, where you get a free diffuser with that one. And if you're more interested in the supplements and really taking care of your health that way, then the Healthy Habits Pack, which is um, the, which was created by our chief medical officer for foundational health. It comes with that three pack of supplements that we talked about before, the Lifelong Vitality, it comes with um, probiotics and enzymes, which I didn't touch on, but those are something that my entire family uses every day for every meal. The enzymes help break down your food and convert your food into cellular energy. And the, um, can you, um, Gail, can you just mute everyone, please? Um, and then um, the probiotics are, Um, they are double coated, so they make it into your um, colon before they would be um, dissolved in your stomach acids. And they also have a prebiotic in them too. So they are double, um, they, they have basically the probiotic is the good bacteria. The prebiotic is what it eats. So it helps it to proliferate in the colon. So really, really good stuff. Um, that one comes with uh, five different oils, including frankincense and balance, lavender, tangerine, and... Uh, on guard for immune boosting. And it comes with the deep blue cream, which is the cream version of the, um, the pain relieving, you know, it's like a natural Bengay basically. It smells much better. It has camphor and wintergreen and things like that. So um, any questions about these packages? And again, the $35 fee is waived in all of these cases and they're all below the wholesale cost. So it's really much more cost-effective to do it as a package. 
Um, and then this month, um, we I'm going to post afterwards an interest form that there's no um, there's no obligation or anything, but when you fill that out within 24 hours and then end up getting started with an oil package this month, we will send you a free bottle of wild orange as a thank you. And the form just basically says what, you know, gives your info and then what you asks for your info and then says, what do you, uh, which package do you think you would want? Or you can choose, I'm not sure. And then we can just be in touch and help. I love helping you figure it out. So um, the other special this month which we're really excited about it is basically a $50 shopping spree. So any of these packages, um, if you were to start with those, you would get, um, you know, including the aroma essentials, which is pictured, you basically get a $50 credit to spend on whatever you want. So you can get started with the kit. And then if there's any particular oils that you're wanting besides what was in your kit for your particular health and wellness issues, you can use that um, credit, that shopping spree to get that following month. So I think that's a really great deal. And I hope that all of you will take advantage of it if you are interested in getting started. This is a very good month to do it. Um, so next steps, and then we're going to do um, a raffle or um, a prize. And so if you would like to copy this presentation, you can message me or you can text me at this number. Um, be on the lookout for my post. I'm going to post details about what is in each of the kits that we talked about. There's pictures of them I'm gonna post and then details about, um, it has details about what's included in each of them so you can take a better look. And then I'm also going to post um, the form that I talked about so we can connect better so you can fill that out and then I will be in touch. And um, what else am I going to post? The recording of this, uh, of this workshop so that if people missed it or missed part of it, you can catch that. And then um, once you get started with the oils and they arrive, like we said, I do, um, and everyone on my team does a Zoom to help you as your, with a wellness consult so we can teach you how to use your oils, make sure you know how to log into your account and things like that. And then you get your welcome pack and everything sent to you, which I think uh, Dina probably just got recently from me. And then we will, and then we put you into our VIP customer group, which has education every single day. We have events all the time. We have, um, what else? We have um, like continuing education classes, if you want things like that. So there's definitely no lack of, you know, no lack of education when it comes to oils. We're always here to help you. And then you will feel amazing. So uh, let me stop sharing. And I'm going to, um, just uh, stop. I'm going to say goodbye to the recording because we will pull for the winner of everyone that's on live right now. And then um, we will say goodnight separately. So thank you for um, checking out the recording, everyone, or checking out this, um, you know, being here tonight for this workshop. And we will definitely be in touch. Thank you. Have a good night.